Hey Crave families, it's Kevin Nunnery, high school pastor here with a series preview. Our first series of 2022 will be on January 2nd and 9th. Yes, we are meeting the day after New Year's because students return to school on the 3rd. So we figured let's go ahead and meet together on the 2nd. The series is called Old School, which will have two distinct meanings. The series is old school in the sense that we're going old school, Old Testament, and not just any book. We're jumping into Genesis, the very first book of the Bible. And within Genesis, we're going back to the very beginning to look at the first two pairs of people that we read about in Scripture, Adam and Eve, and then Cain and Abel. Week one, we'll focus on Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 13. This is not their finest moment. In fact, this is directly after what we know as the fall, where Adam and Eve disobey God and break fellowship with Him. We will look specifically at how Adam and Eve respond when God comes calling for them in the garden. Their actions are incredibly similar to how we respond today. We hide and we blame others. The first Sunday of the new year is the perfect time to talk about confronting our failures and taking ownership. Only then can we begin to truly move towards the Father. Some questions for you to engage with your student coming out of this first message of the year. What are some things that you hide from? And does hiding help? Why is it so tempting to blame others for our failures? And is there anything that you need to confess and own? Now week two is only one chapter later in Genesis. We'll be looking at chapter four, verses one through 16, where we see the story of Adam and Eve's sons, Cain and Abel. It's a story that most of us have at least a passing familiarity with. Cain murdered Abel. But why? And what does it have to do with us today? Well, given that Jesus said that anger and rage that we harbor in our hearts is on the same level as actually committing murder, quite a lot. Also, these last few years have been tense, and we may be carrying strong emotions in our relationships that we haven't worked through. Again, what better time to dive into this than at the beginning of the year? Coming out of this message, some questions for you to engage with your student. When do you find yourself struggling with anger? What are some healthy steps that you can take to work through your strong emotions? And do you have relationships that need forgiveness and restoration? There's a second old school component to this kickoff series. In addition to going old school with our texts, we're gonna go old school with our service style. We'll be singing hymns and other classic worship songs. We will pray together out loud. We'll recite some creeds. We'll hit the doxology. Maybe you remember that one. We'll create space for silence and reflection. We'll take communion. It will be a more deliberate and liturgical gathering. And it will seem pretty old school, more like a church's traditional worship service. It'll kind of be like when you used to go visit your grandparents' church, which is a distinctly different vibe than most of our services here at Brookwood. So why are we doing this? Why go old school, maybe do some things that feel outdated or archaic to our students? Well, primarily because there's value in these practices. Prayers of confession, passing the peace, and honing in on the theological truths of these creeds. But there's a secondary benefit, which is that our students may one day leave Brookwood and be in a church that does things more like this. And it's not bad to be prepared and to understand what happens and why we do those things. So remember this, if your student misses a week, uh, we do have a podcast that goes up uh, by the middle of the week. Uh, and then we also do a recap video that you can find on our YouTube page. You can see that information here on the screen. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at your convenience. Uh, my contact info is now also on the screen. I'm very excited to kick off 2022 with our old school series. I'm excited to see your students after the Christmas break. It is a privilege for me and for my volunteers to partner with you in the discipleship journey of your student. We're praying for you, and we'll see you in 2022.